Okay, so we're recording now. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we have... I've just spent the last ooh, about five hours uh, getting this working. Um, so I am recently doing an update. We're going to go through all this stuff while I'm at it. Um, this guy is ready to go. All right, so we have uh, made some changes here. Uh, we've added this thing. Um, what happens is, is uh, whenever you load a game, so not when you're starting a new game, but every time after that, um, this thing will find out if uh, the MCM menu is enabled. If it is, then it will not give the player a book. If it isn't, then the player will get a book. He won't be told. Um, this is to ensure that um, everyone who does not have any other way of getting the menu have the ability to get the menu by getting the book. There's also stuff in the book. Um, it's basically this. So basically what this thing says is what's in the book. It's a little bit different just because it doesn't say how to install. You can't see the book if it's not installed, so why bother? Yeah. Um, but anyway. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so what happens is every time it gets loaded, this thing calls this thing, which is in here. This thing is supposed to get given, uh, get called when the game starts um, and if it does then the player gets a book so when the game first loads the very first time when you start a new game you're supposed to get a book and you're also supposed to be told that you're going to get a book um, that's what the false and true is this is not on a load of load game so false happens to be what we need to, uh, to, to send to make it so that the player is told You'll see this is true. That's how you're not telling them. Um, we've added a new option here. You can't see what it does exactly, but um, this is close and this is read. They both close the book, but uh, in any case, um, I recently went through a, uh, a change in how I handled uh, variables, um, the settings. So I used to have it so that each one had its own freaking global variable. Now I have it so that there's one. And that's this guy here. And I just use the different bits in it. And these are the bits that I use so far. So. If you want to figure out what it is, um, it's 2 to the power of this number is which bit it is. So this is 1 or 0, this is 2 or 0, this is 4 or 0, this is 8 or 0, this is 16 or 0. And you add them all together to get what all the settings are. So it has to be in this range with this amount of settings. If you don't, it, if you want to like look this over and see exactly what I'm getting at, that is entirely your own decision. I'm not get to get into into it any further than that at this point. Um, so this does basically everything for you. This is just what happens when you are uh, wait, load. Yeah, this is the the MCM menu, and this is the book menu. They're basically the same as far as what they do. Um, but you don't need the book if you have this. And then these things have also been updated for the same reason. Again, if you really want to take a look at it in detail. One thing is, it is actually slightly easier. Like this used to say, um, if 
ASG only black dot get value int is equal to one. And now it's just if it's set. <sighs> so it's much easier on the eyes uh, doing it this way, even though it does require doing this whole thing first. But that's it for this. It literally just does the, I just get to read them when it runs. So it does, it reads them and then it runs. In any case, we just got done, well, I just got done um, testing it in regular Skyrim. Um, now we're going to launch it in the creation kit. If it will launch, there it is. Um, I also need to... Go there. And there. So basically, we're not going to do any editing of anything, just because we don't need to. Um, we're just opening it and resaving it um, to make sure that it saves with the correct form ID. Uh, just to make sure that there isn't any kind of save game corruption. Which is probably an unnecessary step, but it doesn't matter. I need to um, load up this thing and resave it anyway so that I can upload it onto Bethesda so that the Xbox people can have it. So, you know, it's a step I have to take anyway. Big whoop. <sighs> It does take a while. For it to load. Which is lots of fun. Obviously. I don't know, can you see my... Yeah, you can see my house. Cool. Right, that's because I have to save it. So just so you guys know, um, I am currently recording this, and once I'm done recording this, I will be uploading it. By the time this video has been uploaded, this file, I'll have already done, finished all this and, and uploaded the actual update of the mod itself. So by the time you even know this exists and start watching this video, you'll probably already have the version that this is an update for. Because I'm pretty sure. What the uh, weirdness is? No, that has anything to do with anything I made, so I don't care. 
That's all vanilla stuff. Okay. So all we are really doing... We uh, added some text, by the way, to the book. As I said, it's basically the same thing as what's in the readme. So, not a big deal. But now we need to... I need to log in first for that. I'm gonna see this. Um, that's weird. Where can you give me like some information as to where that comes from? You're not you're not helpful at all. Okay. You're just gonna keep saying that. Well let's let's make a change then. We will delete that and bring it back. And then we will save. Nope, still being a jerk. Not sure why it's doing that. Oh, I do see it's been moved to the overwrite, so it has resaved it. Which means, yes, we can copy it. So, this version is the version we just, that I just finished testing in regular Skyrim. It's what's in here. Uh, when I get done testing, I will be uploading this to the Skyrim page. This is the resave copy from when I loaded this. We're going to, like, see if I can get it to not be all weird this time. And try saving it without an error message. Well, it wasn't an error message, it was warnings, but whatever. to this. I really like this picture. This is a really fun picture. I have no idea where it came from. It's not mine though. It's just, it's a wallpaper picture that I found when I was looking for wallpapers. Um, I like it though, it's nice. Wow, this is taking forever to load. Come on, you can do it. I really don't like that it does that. That's Here we go. And yeah, none of that is anything I care about, so. Whatever, it saved it, right? Let me check. 433. 
Jeez, what the, yeah, it saved it, so we're good. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. I don't care. It's just a pointer value cannot be cast as numeric ID. Okay. I don't even know what that's talking about. But it's not going to give me any explanation, and it seems to be working fine, so I don't care. Um, we're going to close it because it did save it. check and see if it works. Mm. Let's go with here. I think I have the book there. not, I'm about to. Hmm. That actually moves it down to the bottom. Whatever. I don't care. Okay, so this is all working, right? Yes. This is how I prefer to have mine set up. Although, that actually doesn't seem like a good idea. Anyway, you close it, it goes away. We're done. But, if you read the book, it'll read the book. And, you know, there's a few pages of stuff. There's the explanation. Like, here's what it is. The explanation of the mod, the different options that you have, um, some other notes and whatnot, there's a change log eventually, so on and so forth. And you do not have to read the book if you don't want to. See? It doesn't read the book. If you want it to read the book, then you can. But you're not required to. If you just want to do your settings and close it, you're good to go. Now, one thing. Um, if you... Uh, do not have the MCM menu. Like, watch this. I am going to drop the book. And then I'm going to save the game. And I'm going to load the game. And you're going to see that even though there's a book on the ground, I have a book in me, in my, yeah, see, now I've got the book twice, because so i got that one, and i got this one, now this is the reason why you can read the book, you have to be able to read the book to pick it up, <laughs> now you see I have two copies of the book, well we don't want two copies of the book, they're completely worthless, they take up no weight, it's not like it's a big deal, but, why do we want two copies of a settings book that is completely worthless? We don't. So what we're going to do is, we're going to load the game. Now see, this is going to happen, like, automatically, just from you playing. If at any point in time, for some strange reason, you happen to have more than one copy of the book, you will have one copy of the book the next time you load your game. Um, this only happens if you do not have the MCM menu enabled. If you do not have the MCM menu enabled, then you... it it won't mess with how many books you have. Uh, it won't give you books if you have books. It won't take your books away if you have it, 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 if you have any. Um, however, if you don't have the MCM menu, this will make sure that you have exactly one copy of this book in your inventory every time you load your game. If you already have one there, you'll have one there. 
If you don't have one there, you'll have one there. If you have 23,000 there, you'll have one there. <laughs> Which is nice. Um, and all the options work just like you expect. Um, if you want to, you can read the book and there's an actual description of what the different settings are. Like there's the description for only black, there's the description for only full, and the two different silences. And if you have a console, there's some info, that, info there. Um, it's really, that's it, about it. Everything seems to be working pretty fine. The only real thing I haven't tested yet. Um, we do know that this stuff all works. Got him in the head. Nice. Uh, okay. And right in the neck. That's pretty good. Okay. So I need to. Um, go to the place where there is a merchant and talk to the merchant. You know, make sure that the book does not show up in the trade menu. Because I actually didn't test that um, when I was playing in the regular Skyrim testing it. I was just making sure that all this stuff was good. Um, I need to... I do not feel like taking as long as it uh, normally takes. So we're going to do that instead. Oh, and because I don't want to accidentally kill myself during this. something I said no Maybe no it well, I don't know what you overheard but oh a bit of this and a bit of that hey check it out okay um, now how do I I think I have a few old spell how books do I laying switch about. to me uh, yeah an um, ornament, nice weapon, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Yeah, yeah, shut your Riverwood, my sister, trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Hmm. Oh, ah, there we go. I'm sorry, I'm used to the menu, the the sky the sky UI menu where you tap between the two. Uh, although I don't think it was tab to tap between the two. Either way, it's not showing up. Let me see. Is it showing up at all? It does not show up at all, but I do have it. I do have it. Awesome, so that works. Okay, and now we need to... Trips. I better get back to cleaning the floor. Does that not work? Oh, it did not work because I forgot. To, I did space for some reason to the top. I'm freaking weird. Oh, okay, good. It's not showing up. Sure. 
There we go. Awesomeness. Everything is working perfectly. So we've just tested all the new options. Oh, by the way, what do you guys think about this? Um, I am making a mock. I mostly planning stages right now, but one of the ideas I had was to introduce different colors of souls. Um, so, like, instead of all the humanoids having black souls, each of the different kinds of, human, uh, of humanoids have a different color soul, and the Dremora have black souls. And then, depending on the different things you, they, the different person, they had different colors, they had different abilities, and uh, one for a Khajiit soul would be uh, being able to run this fast as long as you had the mana for it. What do you guys think? That's a really good idea. I like the idea. Um, in any case, I'm working on it in my spare time, so the more spare time I have, the faster it will go. In any case, I think we're done as far as all this testing is concerned. I, I just wanted to run around for a little bit. Okay, it's fun to run around that fast. Um, but we're done with the testing and all the rest of that. It definitely works. Um, so, because we've got this all working, we're going to upload this. And since we're now in the uploading stage, that's mean we're done here. You'll have a, Oh, I shouldn't have closed that. Mm, it's okay, I can fix that in just a second. I have to do this to upload it. Anyway, y'all have fun. See you next time.